everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would share with you what Scott and I got for Christmas. Um, as some of the gifts that we were given were joined. Um, and then I'll just kind of throw in some of the other things from him. I know it's been a long time since I've filmed. So, oh my gosh, I didn't know where to begin. So we were spoiled for things. A lot of things were food inspired. And Scott really has um, cooked a lot. And we like to try new things. So one of the gifts that we got, I have to go on the floor for this one is a cast iron wok, okay? This thing is a beast. This is actually a gift to, to Scott um, to use in conjunction with one of the cookbooks that was given to him. But the wok is definitely going to be uh, used a lot. What's really cool is because it's cast iron, you can actually use it on the barbecue as well. And in the summer months, like in the warmer months, even yesterday Scott and I barbecued, <laughs> um, but in the summer months, like it'll definitely get used a lot. We're excited to make some like really cool stir fries. Um, another thing that we got uh, that was food related is this bad boy, which is an active fry. So Scott's older sister Tori and Parrish, her fiance, got us this. They have one and they love it and Scott's been pestering me for ages to get one and I was like, we don't need it. We don't need it. And we've already used it two or three times. So that one's pretty fun. Keeping on the food theme, Scott got a couple of cookbooks. So this is the Cap Camp and Cabin Cookbook, 100 Recipes to Prepare Wherever You Go. And the second one is uh, Born to Grill, which, you know, like I said, it's got loves to barbecue. So we'll definitely be looking into these ones. Speaking to some food things given, um, we got this popcorn sampler. It's got six different types of popcorn and three salts. So there's midnight blue, medium yellow, purple, medium white, red, and ladyfinger popcorn. And then there's garlic butter salt, chipotle salt, and lemon dill salt. Now I have an air popper and I think it's absolutely 110% possessed, likes to ricochet kernels, but we also have a giant container of kernels we're gonna use, so hopefully we can kind of move away from microwave popcorn and go to air pop popcorn. Oh, this is really funny. So Scott's aunt got him this and it says, beer me up, Scotty. If you get the reference, thumbs up. And along my wall, I haven't actually given you guys a full, like, decorated house tour, but that shelf right there has all of the beer glasses that we've bought at different breweries that we've had together. Um, last year, my dad gave Scott a, um, I think it was a six pack of different beer glasses. So all of our beer glasses and our sampling glasses and stuff are all on that shelf. So it was pretty appropriate. Scott loves beer craft beer especially. I've been given a couple of different bottles of champagne. One is a little house gift. Um, one of a couple friends of ours who were finally able to visit the house. Um, this one was from one of my Secret Santa, um, my Secret Santa gift. Um, and to follow that, I was given a bunch of candy from Squish. So, squishcandies.com. So I've got dinosaurs. I've got white wine spritz. I've got Blue Raspberry Belts, which I'm super excited for. I love blue raspberry. It's one of my favorite like fake candy flavors. And then I have Extreme Sours, and these are like little fish and frogs and stuff. And then these really cool chocolates. So there is, uh, let's see, which one is this one? There's Tiramisu. This is mint chocolate chip, which I let everyone else eat because I don't like mint chocolate chip. And then dark chocolate caramel popcorn. And it's actually, despite its appearance, is popcorn. <laughs> Doused in chocolate. And that was really good. All right, so I'm gonna just kind of grab as I go and just tell you whatever I can about it. So the first thing is one of the gifts from my dad to, to myself. I love cozy socks. I love having warm feet because I am quite often cold. Um, and these are the Mucklock brand and they're like the reading socks or what are they? They call them women's cabin socks, but um, I know like chapters call them reading socks and all stuff like that. And they've got the anti-slip grip at the bottom for spastic people like myself. Um, so I'm super stoked for these. Uh, I got these for my stocking. And these are Cabot and Sons uh, Merino Wool Ski and Ride Socks because I want to get back into snowboarding this winter. And again, I hate having cold feet. Um, so this one's just cute, like the just red um, Christmas pattern. But uh, I got a pair of socks and I got Scott a pair of socks. Um, that had beer uh, steins on them. And then my dad also got Scott some socks. 
Um, we both happened to have gone to Winners and saw them, and I was really nervous. My dad was like, oh yeah, I got them beer socks too, and I was like, oh, I hope they're not the same ones, and they weren't, so super stoked. Scott and I each also got these um, different sunglasses of sorts. So these ones are the See Clearly Without Glare, the tack glasses from Bell Howell. Um, polarized, which is really nice. They'll be like absolutely perfect in the summer when we do um, sea doing and stuff like that. But these ones are really cool because they're actually a yellow lens, so they're for night driving, and they really do help to cut the glare. Had has something Harry Potter. I don't think it's Christmas without something Harry Potter. My dad got me this Gryffindor crest banner, and it's actually my dad, like when I took it out, my dad was like, well, that's so much bigger than I thought it was because he just didn't look at the measurement. He thought it was going to be something small. We didn't figure out where we are going to hang it. Also, love Christmas time for like the really cute bags you can keep and reuse a thousand times. Got some quality street chocolate, and this one, this is the one from my dad, I got a couple, and I kid you not, there were ten pieces inside of it, eight of which are ones that I absolutely love, so I was like, this one was meant for me. Since we're talking about my dad, another thing that I'm sure I've mentioned on my channel before, because I've done a few different what I got for Christmas videos, but every year my dad gets me an ornament, and he's literally done that since my first Christmas. And it's actually something that I started with Scott as well the last couple of years. Every year, um, I've given him some sort of ornament. So this one's from Pier 1, and it's real, I just love the box. I love the color, even though it's not a traditional color for my Christmas tree. I'm one of those traditionalists, if you will, with like red, green, and gold. But eventually, when we can have multiple trees in the house, I will have a blue-themed little, little tree. Um... This I got for Scott. It's a wall um, at home hair trimmer because his mom used to do his hair. So I'm going to learn to do it. I don't trust myself yet because I've tried before and I get really nervous and I stop when I make Trish do it. Okay, moving on to some of the stuff my students got me. Okay, so this book was purchased for me during our book fair like month, two months ago almost probably, but I didn't know it was in my mailbox. So it's Refugee by Alan Gratz, but I don't know who gave it to me because the little insert actually fell out. But I only discovered it, so to me, it's like a Christmas present. Um, one of my students got me some MAC. It's like she knew. So I got a little MAC lipstick package. They're not actually in here, so we're going to move that. Um, I'm using, I've used the third one, and that's why I can't tell you where it is right now. And I just rummaged quickly in my makeup room to find it. Couldn't find it, but it's a nice red color. But love them, and I just love the smell of MAC, so I was like... Super, super happy about that. And then the second part of her present was Lindt Lindor Caramel with Sea Salt. It's like she knew. I got some cookies. Um, I make cookies from one of my students. I got a couple of Tim's cards. Um, I got Scott. These are kind of for both of us, but I wrapped them up for him. Um, they are the Core Building Glide Discs because we have a similar one at our personal training sessions. Um, and these ones are really cool, they, were, they weren't very expensive for winners, is they have two sides, so one side works on carpet, one side works on hardwood floors, um, because we have to really ramp up our workouts, but I want, I'm not going to go there right now. Um, I also got Scott a massage um, with my massage therapist, and that's amazing, because I always tell him, let's go, you should go, you should go, and then we forget and we don't do it, so I just figured if I did that, he would have to go. Um, I got a Bath & Body Works set from my twins, um, and they have the wallflower, there's a gift card, there's a couple of scents in here, there's a, it's a Starbucks gift card. And then, against my will, Boston got a couple of things, although she announced and proclaimed they weren't Christmas presents, but they came in a bag and they came around Christmas, and therefore I told her her Christmas presents. So I got a pair of Kate Spade earrings, she has these earrings in the gold, and they are just little like Christmas wrapping, Christmas bow, bows, earrings? <laughs> if that makes sense, but they're super super cute and I'm very excited to wear them. And she also got me uh, a Kate Spade wallet. Um, so this was at the outlet, otherwise I would have actually killed her, but it's, it's very nice. And like, I, it's been a while since I've used like a full size wallet. Um, I just use my little trifle on most daily basis because I can just chuck it in my clutch. But I like this one a lot. I got some more Quality Street, and you can't go wrong with Quality Street chocolate. Then another one of the gifts from my students was this giant Godiva gift set, and it's a double header. There's two giant things of it, so I'm going to have more mugs at work. Uh, so it has the creme brulee truffles, the Bavarian pretzel, the hot cocoa in the back, and then of course the giant mugs. Then one of the gifts from, um, I don't know if this was Secret Santa, I think this is one of the, just the gifts 
for uh, Scott and I from Movie Sisters is, and her boyfriend is an Amazon gift card. You can never go wrong with an Amazon gift card. Um, I also, from one of his sisters, his baby sister Kirsten, got this Vanilla Bean Noel Diamond Shimmer Mist from Bath & Body Works. And then some sheet masks. Because this year there's a huge theme of skincare. It was totally coincidental. But Kirsten went skincare and I went skincare for everybody. So basically I got gifts for all the ladies in the family. And then Scott and I worked on the gifts for the men. And then two super duper exciting things that I'm like beside myself for. Um, Scott got me Book of Mormon tickets, so we're actually at opening night in June, which I'm super excited for. I really wanted to see Come From Away, um, but the tickets are just like super expensive, and Scott and I just, with our budget right now, we just couldn't do it. So I was a little bit sad about that. So I was like, gosh, there's something else. It's like, you know, it's not going to be Come From Away. I was like, that's fine. And then his mom surprised all of us, so all the kids, all the significant others, with tickets to see Come From Away because her and Rob have seen it and loved it. So we're all going to see it in February. And I like actually almost cried. I was so excited. Um, we had to open, it was all of our cards. We had to open our cards all at the same time so it wasn't spoiled. So we were all like, ready, set, go. We're like, burp, 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 open, open. And I was just like, yes. I was, I was very excited. If you can't already tell from me, like the nervous energy is just so much. This is again from one of my students. It was a David's Tees, like a 12 Tees sampler. And then a press. I don't think I did uh, an end of year haul for the gifts that my students gave me in June, but one of my students actually gave me um, another version of this, like the spring, the spring summer collection one. And it's teal and it's got um, it's got a plastic outside. It's got like lemons and limes and fruits and stuff on it, and I love it. And now this one's really cool because it's actually got a metal tin, and uh, I will be using this a lot. And I'm excited to try some of these teas because they are definitely like sweet flavors. So the gift that Scott got for the Secret Santa. So first of all, let me say I got robbed twice for it, I think. My first, my first gift that I opened was a bunch of lottery tickets and a movie pass. That got taken by Trish. Then the next gift that I opened was, uh, I think it was a bottle of wine and an LCBO gift card. That was stolen from me. And then my final one was the champagne and the candies. But Scott got one of the Mastermind toy ones, and we, and we got Disney Villains, which is a board game. So I'm super excited for it. So there's Captain Hook, Maleficent, Jafar, Ursula, Prince John, and Queen of Hearts. I'm very excited for this. Um, a couple of the other games, I think the ones that Kirsten walked away with with Mad Gab and um, Awkward Hugs. If you can get your hands on Awkward Hugs and you have good friends, play that game. Okay, it's absolutely hysterical. Uh, I have this cute little reindeer that my dad got me. I love Christmas decor. I hate winter time, but I love Christmas. And so like all around my house, I have Christmas stuff. So this actually is for, it's a tea light. He's got a bobbly head. He's got really long gangly legs. <laughs> so I really like him and so he has a snowball body. And then, and then a little house gift that Boston brought to us yesterday, um, actually brought to Scott, specifically for Scott using my aesthetics, um, is actually a bar kit set. It's just really cool because it's got, you know, measurements, got ice tongs, got bottle opener. As this year, through various activities. Um, I actually got a lot of wine. Um, I actually won a little contest at work that put me in second place and I walked away with five bottles of wine there. So I've been kind of, every, every house we've gone to for Christmas, I've presented a bottle of wine. My last gift is this stunning coat um, from Trish and Rob. It is a three quarter length coat and it's got this, um, squared grid pattern like it's not quite plaid or check and it is so stunning. Scott recently Scott recently got a three-quarter length cashmere coat. Um, so now we look mad bougie when we're <laughs> even if we're going to the, the grocery store we put on our fancy coats. Um, the last gift that Scott gave me was actually a really really cool one and he's been trying to steal it ever since I opened it. And it's actually an ASOS monitor and it's a USB monitor. So I can attach this to my Chromebook, my MacBook, and all I gotta do is literally plug in a USB cord to it, and I'll have a secondary monitor, which is really cool. Scott actually works with two monitors at home and at work, and he really wants a third one um, to literally be all-encompassing. Um, so this is pretty, pretty cool. So this year, Scott and I actually decided to um, make our own stockings, and Fabric Land actually had like swaths of um, fleece cut it. So they had uh, stockings and a tree skirt, so we picked those up. A couple different patterns so this one is mine and we had to hand sew these 
And by we, I mean me. I hand sewed the wool. Um, and I'm not, a, I'm not a seamstress by any, any stretch of the imagination, but it worked out really well. So this was mine. And then this one is Scott's. And we have this, wow, this size killing me. But we have this same print with a green top, and that's what matches um, the tree skirt. We currently have, I stole my dad's this year. And then the last item I actually have to turn the camera around to show you was a uh, walnut topped console table that um, Scott's family friend made for us. So we bought him a welding mask for Christmas and gave him a few weeks early. And he actually used it to help build our unit. And it's something for our projector to sit into um, and just look nicer and not sit on a box like it's been sitting on since we bought it. And it's absolutely stunning. And it's got a live edge on both sides of the top. I'm gonna turn you guys around so you can see that. So this is our console unit for our projector. So it is a walnut top. It is gorgeous. It, it, Steve told us it killed him to cut a giant hole in it, but it fits our projector perfectly. He's making a little saddle for it so it'll actually sit by itself. Right now it is on another box. My dad actually bought us the amplifier that's underneath of it. That was another Christmas. That was our big Christmas present from him. And then he allowed us to borrow his really tall speakers so that we could um, have, you know, our amazing movie quality sound. And then another thing my dad bought me was my new printer, and you guys will see that here. It allows me to scan and copy, which I'm super stoked about. And the most important thing about a printer for me is that it can do double-sided printing. So that's everything that I've got. Um, I've had such an amazing Christmas with Scott and our, our first Christmas in our own place. We're actually, today as I'm filming this, is our three-year anniversary. Uh, it's been really special, it's been really stressful. Uh, Christmas is definitely a big stress. Um, but I enjoy it every step of the way because in the end, just seeing people's faces, it's just great. Like when they really enjoy what you pick up, it, like it makes it all better, all the stress kind of melts away. I love spending time with my family, with Scott's family. Uh, I had a lot of bonding this year, making different gingerbread cookies, different gingerbread buildings. We made a boat for his family this year. And then behind me, I don't know if you can see it, but like there, <laughs> we made a big Ben out of gingerbread. Um, we were going to break it last night for New Year's, but we uh, haven't finished decorating it yet. And spending time with friends, and then just chilling out together and just having our own time. We're just like sitting here and watching movies and TV shows together. So I hope you guys who celebrate have had a very Merry Christmas. I hope everyone's had a happy and safe New Year. Cheers to 2019. Um, I'd love to know what you got for Christmas. So I will see you guys in my next video. See ya! So I've just finished filming and realized I forgot to do this. Hey Google! Turn on the tree. Okay, turning the tree. Oh, my light's on. You can't really see them, so I don't feel too, too bad about it. Hey Google, turn off the tree.